Hello YouTubers, this is Brian from Van and Solar Adventures with my product review so far of my Dometic 65DZ US Dometic Cooler, 12 volt, 110 volt. And I wanted to post this video because I'm very happy with this unit. Although, as you can see, I got damage in shipping. Uh, sorry, it's kind of dark, but I got damaged in shipping. It didn't go all the way through the lid, so I'm going to return this unit or get a new lid. But other than that, the unit is perfect. Why is why do I say it's perfect? I've been running it for 24 hours. Um, you can see it's below freezing. It's 29 degrees F. Uh, 65 liter capacity. You can see the lights working. I got a freezer compartment. My soda pop is cold. Why am I impressed? Boom. Here is my power reading running at 24 hours with no solar input. 100%. Look, it's only drawing one watt. This thing has basically used zero power in 24 hours. The, the compressor comes on uh, and uses about 45 watts. But it shuts off within, I don't know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. I have to look on their website. And then doesn't come back on for a long time till it needs it. And so 24 hours. Now, I will admit it's 75 degrees or so in the house. But it's drawing the temperature all the way down to 29. And zero power usage. So basically, you could almost run this indefinitely. Well, not really indefinitely, with no solar input, probably, I'm gonna take a guess, after a week or two, my batteries would be dead. But, with solar input, you could run this indefinitely. And this thing is huge, look how, look at the size of this. It's probably twice the size of a nor normal cooler. It's got a uh, freezer compartment, uh, a slightly cooler compartment, and another compartment. It progressively gets uh, warmer as it, as it goes to the right here. And um, <clears throat> trying to figure out how to fit this and work this in my RV, uh, there's, they're much, much more efficient than any RV refrigerator, period. So if you're doing a new RV build or van build, you must get this cooler. It is the most efficient one that I've seen on the market, period. In fact, for my RV, I'm trying to find an equivalent uh, built-in refrigerator. 12 volt. Uh, so far, I, I can't find it. Otherwise, I'd put this in the van, but it, it would it would take up my hallway space. So, anyways, that's um, so far my initial review of the Dometic uh, 65 DZ US cooler. There's a couple other videos on YouTube. Feel free to look at those. A lot of other people are happy as well. Um, and if I think of anything else for this. I will let you know. Obviously, by the way, if you store this outside and it's 80, 100 degrees, the compressor is going to come on more often. But again, it's very efficient. Only uses 45 watts for 5, 10 minutes or uh, 15 minutes per hour. whoop de doo That's, you know, I don't know, drawing maybe 20 watts from your battery, uh, which most batteries, 100 amp hour batteries, about 1,000 watts or so. So you could run it for a long, long time. Also, I bought the cover for this. I don't have it on it yet. There's a color cover, I think it's only 30 bucks or so, that'll double the insulation around this thing. Uh, you can buy all of this on Amazon. I haven't put it on yet because I'm probably gonna return this unit as I indicated the damage here on the top that's not all the way through. So even though uh, it's not all the way through, it's still maintaining temperature because the insulation is still, is still uh, in there. All right, this video is getting too long. Have a good day, people.